Hello, and welcome back. It's been a while. I have a new game today. This Terra. I uh, saw it as an early access game, and it seemed kind of interesting. Well, it seemed pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, not everything's out yet. No single player, which obviously means I'm going to have to get my ass handed to me online. So we'll see what official servers are available. Alright, no, no servers for Europe today. But the ping is pretty low. We'll survive at 89. So, it looks like it's sort of a mix up between some resource gathering where you gotta be, you know, looking for metal and. What happened here now? I was killed by a robot. You survived for nine days. That's impressive. Okay. So, I did the tutorial yesterday. So, I don't know why I said nine days. Um, and I have a fair idea of how to play. They want to go on completely blind now, so I don't look like a total idiot. Um, so I guess I gotta pick where I want to spawn. We'll go with the canyons. I fancy somewhere a little brown today. Orangey warm settings rather than the dank coal forest that I'm currently having to live with in my the real world. Except whatever you have in your secure slots. Okay. Recover the items left where you died before somebody else finds them first. Oh yeah, so if you die, and it sounds like you can die based on somebody kick a dish out a can of whoop ass or from um monsters in the game. All right, well you should get to keep an assault rifle, even though we're out of ammo. Um Right, well, let's have a look in here since this is our closest building. I mean, give us eight pistol bullets, so at least there's one lad floating around here. So I think it has sort of, um, what is it? Daisy kind of vibes to it. Where it looks like a, a ruined world and. Oh, oh, oh. Hit that button, Max, and bondage. Two box. Have to pay respects. Go on, sure. I think at the moment I'll just uh, take everything I can get my hands on. I'll just shift F. The whole shebang. Ooh. Now, why do they all suddenly appear? But, um, yeah, so I'll use these resources. You can, can you press the button here, yeah. Use all the resources you find. I think you can build, like, little turrets and... Things to help you out with all of the rest of the madness going on around. Ooh. I was thinking that was going to be a drivable boat, but it would look like no. Now, that's glittering like I can go down, but can I swim? Well, I suppose I've not got a whole lot to lose, do I? At the moment. Uh... It's in the boot. Fair enough. Let's see if we can swim. So, I guess we can. Yeah. So, I've mixed opinions about the visuals so far. Like, it doesn't look dreadful from here. I've seen some real muddy textures in the jungle yesterday. I suppose up close here, these textures are pretty dank. No, they're not great. Um, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have. We're high enough. We'll go epic for everything. I don't know how many frames we're at at the moment, and I'm afraid to look. But it's smooth enough. It's not quite gotten to, um, Planet Crafter levels of madness yet. Give it time. Alright, what are these? Parasite deposits. Right, I picked the right part of town to start in. Considering Terra is in the name. Although is Terra just like a, a Greek word or a Latin word or something for Earth? Or something. Terraforming. Oh, there's a deer, but he looks like he's seen better days. He looks dead. 
Can I eat him? Oh, yeah. Punch that booty. He's not even flinching. There we go. An elk. Is it an elk a type of deer or a deer type of elk? The former, I think. Okay, so you to build stuff. I think I could... Oh, and craft ammo. What does it need? Metal. Yeah, I'd be wise to craft... Does that mean... Oh, yeah, 15. Jeez, like, I'm only crafting one bullet. 15 bullets ain't much either, though. But I guess... Um... Alright, can I craft that and go off and do my own business? Alright, that's kind of handy, I guess. So, yeah, well, I was going to say... That's not a whole lot of bullets. How many have I got now? 75. Well, I guess uh, metal isn't that hard to find either. I'm not sure why it's all being shown on the UI. Is that the way it's meant to be? I won't complain at the moment. Right, see these bios yesterday. They seem everywhere. I don't know what their what their deal is. Why they're uh, why they're angry, especially when you got a little medical yoke on them. You think he'd be uh, out to save me? Friendly. Bad robots. Alright, so you grab bits of food, uh, healing stuff. And from what I remember, you can craft quite a lot of good stuff. Uh, boot, new armor, those pistol, healing bits, the, uh, ooh, a workbench. I guess that's where we need to get ourselves to then start building, like, turrets and stuff. This feels like it'd be more fun to work with somebody, though. Like, if I have to assume now that everybody out here is trying to kill me, um, I guess I know from the start. But it would be nice to be uh, a little safer. Well, not safer, but have someone to construct with me. But I don't know if that's allowed. Maybe it's encouraged, but then again, you could be betrayed any minute. There were some notifications earlier on about um, whether it be PvP, PvE kind of stuff. So if there are PvE-only servers, that would be pretty cool. So at least if you come across somebody, you don't have to worry about them. Because uh, PvP ain't my cup of tea. My date. Oh, at least he let off a noise. I wonder, is the head the weak spot? Because that's not always a guarantee with robots, is it? You might have like a little energy core. I should probably pay closer attention. There is a red glowing thing on his belly. That might be a, a good place to start. Alright. Okay, time to move on. I think I've... Uh... Oh wait, what I'll do here... While I have... Oh, I can build some... Now what do these do? Do they give me a little bit more in terms of... Uh... I wish I could compare to what I currently have so I could see. I will go on the assumption that I currently have nothing because that's probably the case. Alright, I've loads of metal anyway, so let's just uh, blast away that so while I'm roaming around. Ooh. He may not be as uh, friendly as the elk. Let's take it up the hill here quick. More powerful weapon and equipment increase your chance of survival. Now you're going to venture out into more dangerous areas. I the am. battle will be tougher, so make sure to get ammo, food, and medical supplies. That's the plan. Where to where to go? Where's the hyena gun shielder? Is that what I can see on the top left there, the little mini map? Oh. The scale is big. Um, there is always the temptation just to go for the endless slog through the bushes trying to find stuff. All right, he looks like he's going to wake up. No, he's drunk. He's conked. We'll find a weak spot later. Oh! 
he's got a bit of speed in him, isn't he? Swifty. Right, he dropped a load of stuff, though. But I think that is the point, isn't it? Because death is common. It's kind of like a, a permadeath to a degree. So I suppose it's not worth your while hoarding excessively. Because if I die in a minute now, I lose everything. Um, I'm guessing Zed down there with the 10... Um, whatever it is, units. That would mean I can heal myself. Instantly restore itself. I'll craft one and just see if it goes up. Oh, it is. Yeah, look, I got 10 of them. Okay, so they're in good supply. Uh, so I have a fiber shirt on. Is the fiber jacket better? Looks to be. Better durability. Better everything, yeah. Okay. Can I, like, decraft that and steal the resources? Remember, at least these guys aren't range attack. As soon as I start dealing with lads with guns, ooh. Well, the knife should be too soon. This is going to be it. Following you as long as they can. If you think you are good marksmen, aim for the head over the shield. All right. You know what? I think going into the iron sights, looking down. The oh god. All right. He has a charge phase. If I can get over that. I'm grand. Right, that was less than successful, but hey, it's first time round. Um, me, 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 me. Right, should I heal? Where's my health? Okay, well down. Zed. Did that do anything? Not a whole lot, did it? Oh yeah, beans, maybe that's what I need. No, I don't need to fix my health or my hunger. Oh yeah, look, 10 damage, 10 damage. Oh yeah, red, look, he did 19 on the head. Alright, fair enough. Now that we know, head's the weak spot. Oh no! Is there a melee attack? They're all the skills are on top right there. Movement sprint, all the ranks. What would... I haven't played PC games very much. Not first person shooters with a out of controller, anyway. Do we... I didn't see, see melee as an option. New markers that mark talk. No. I suppose I could... Uh, quickly change gun or something. It need not be opened. Or well, considering how many lads were hanging around here... It does suggest... That there was something useful. Oh yeah, look, I have a load of bandages down there. I see six of them. Bound to the number three. Fair enough. We're good to go. I have ways to heal myself. Battery. Um, There was a button for this actually yesterday. I forget what it is now. It's like some sort of a scan, an environmental scan thing. I would assume there's also going to be like a torch too, maybe. Oh, what's this? There's lots of uh, chatting going on there on the left. There's a lot of clutter in the screen in general, actually. Oh, that's gone now. Right, what's upstairs? Right, this is the last area I'm going to explore, I promise. I'm going to just get some good loot. And then I'm going to go and try and find uh, the hyena gun shielder and the scout. Battery pack. The machine arm saves the experience you gain as you try to survive. When the experience uh, points reach a certain level, you can upgrade your machine arm. Press the skill key and upgrade something. Okay, that's kind of cool, isn't it? That gives you some sort of persistence to everything. Right, how do I... Uh... Oh, why? There we go. More healing... Do you know what? So, I don't think I'll spend... Mm, if I don't spend it, do I lose it? Um, I'll take the chance to find out. 
The reason I say I won't spend it now, and I generally do this in, in any sort of uh, RPGs as well, is I'll wait until I have a better feel of where I'm lacking. So obviously I'm going to be better at some things than other aspects, and then I'll use the skills just to make up for my weaknesses. Right, I'll check upstairs, because there was a bunch of lads up there. It makes me wonder whether there's going to be a, a fancy chest or anything cool up here. Um. Okay. Get in the box. I'm just being an absolute hoarder at the moment now. Pure hoarding machine. Kind of wish this loot all was the default instead of shift. Maybe I could. Uh, maybe I can remap that. Where's F? So F is it? Well, F is interact to anything. I would like to keep that as it is. I'll get the hang of it. Right, F to hack. Okay, I don't have the ability to do that. I did see that skill, so perhaps that's where I should be spending it. Why? Okay, I'm getting skill points just picking stuff up. But I saw hacking here. How do I lock that in? Done. Now. Not enough energy. Use a battery to recharge your machine arm. Like, my machine arm is pretty damn full. If that's the measurement on the bottom left there. How much more charge does my machine arm need to be? Alright, this is handy, I guess. This is where I can see other people in the area. Right, I guess I wasted that skill point, didn't I? I got too, too excited for myself. Never mind. More levels to come. I'll just uh, spend the next hour killing elk. World of Warcraft style in South Park. Speaking of which, I believe there's a new expansion on the way. I uh, was an avid WoW player back in the day. Oh. How did a bullet to the head not kill him? I get these are some kind of mutant elk, but Christ. Absolute beast. Now, do I need to go off and start thinking like build a campfire or something? I've gone well off. Danger level two. Threat level midnight. Right, something's around here. Obviously, if the danger level is jumped. It's a massive building. A massive building with a whole lot of nothing going on. It's a strange um, style of decor, isn't it? Cause even if the apocalypse or whatever has taken over, where's like the decor inside that building? Like an unfinished mod or something. Or an out-of-bounds area that you weren't meant to actually get to. Right, I'll try up here first. Although, the one with the wolfy face looks like the hyena base. So let's just stay on track for what the objectives are asking me to do. Right, new message from Jay. Machine arm saves. All right, yeah, I read your message a minute ago. Would you go with me, on? Never mind. On we go. See, uh, see how we make our way into this hyena base. Weren't the hyenas guys from Division? I think. It's been a while now. Destiny has taken over the the game, and since. Division was essentially abandoned. There was talks of an expansion. Oh, I hear someone running. Now, if they had done a crossover with um, whoever owns the rights to Terminator, this has been pretty damn cool. all that fun cyberdyne and of course just the rope oh jesus what were they up to in here he's a robot of the night reload faster right his belly ain't um causing him 
more damage than usual. So I think headshots are are the way to go. I've loads of metal anyway. I probably should make um more bullets. Is there a way to create maybe do it in tens or something? Oh yeah, there is. Look. I'll just be making them as I go. But you can make them as you walk, kind of can feel a little pointless to have it work this way. I'm getting hungry too. I'm halfway down. I wonder will I get sick if I eat raw meat? I would think red meat would be okay. No. Not enough battery. Use the battery to charge your machine. Okay. Six, I think, is better, isn't it? Right, we're fully charged. If oh, yeah. Success rate. Energy cost 100. Oh, it completely takes everything out of my arm. There want to be some good stuff in here. Hacking successful. Well, I'll take a look and see what's inside this one. Loads of chips. Lens. Stealth protocol. Alright, we'll take it off for now. Now is obviously a tough time to tell, but... When or where... What do I look out for in terms of, like, settlements? Where do I... Where do I find a place to call home? Because if you're going to get killed when I log off, like, I get killed every time. Because I, I did actually go into a little corner and hide away with a sleeping bag. So I would have thought, you know, that had been enough to not get spotted. But as you saw from the message when I logged in, I was murdered in my absence. My character was murdered. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. Rusty battery. But this ain't quite what I'd hoped for when it thought about resource gathering. I was expecting like a little more maybe um no man's sky kind of resource gathering. Maybe not as intense as that, but you know. I build a little camp in for Fallout. Because that seems to be a similar uh approach to Fallout 76 had taken. If you build your little settlement. People can come and destroy it on you. That never happened to me, actually. But maybe... Oh, wait, you can turn PvP off. Yeah, which I did, of course. I'll be dealing with those kind of rage quits. Get on up there. Yup. No, he hasn't got it. Got to work them calf muscles a little bit harder. He let himself down, right? There's got to be something decent in that camera. Hmm. Lens and wires... Sensor. Okay. On we go. Now, how do we get up there? Well, that little platform up here does seem like the way to get there, but how do we get up to the platform? Right, back to danger level two. We'll go up this way now and we'll see. That may not actually be a way up at all. It's going to be a, a pillar. I'm going to go up this way, so. Get a, a feel for the area. But as soon as I come across any sort of ranged opponents now, my strength is going to go down downhill. Which makes me think that I should probably build some better stuff. Just so I can... Uh... Oh wait, did I say I could build battery packs there? What goes into them? Just metal and terracite. I should probably get the, the rest of the terracite that was back there. Okay... I thought I told him to build fiber pants too. Right, discard. What's that? Just like dot? Full stop? Right, that works too. Oh, he was wearing no pants at all. Oh, yeah, I don't see a helmet on the... It looks like there's a slot for a helmet. I mean, that's something you gotta find. Oh, barrel grill. Is that what I gotta use to cook my meat? I can go for a snooze. Um, 
Where's those shoes that I just made? There they are. Okay. So we'll continue on into the current danger level. We'll see what kind of opponents I'm going to come across. Are they going to be human? Or at least living? Or are they all bots? There definitely should be uh, other people playing. Like other real life humans. There we go. Bit overgrown. So we're getting in there now without some secret tools. But yeah, I should, should pop, come across other humans playing the game. I do believe it's an online thing. If they connect to the server, although, what time is it now? 7 o'clock Irish time. That's uh, 2 p.m. America time. So if I'm a connected to America server, all the Americans are probably at work still. Today is Thursday. But there's no Europeans ever. But yeah, I should have could be other Europeans playing too. Where's all the... Where's all, like, the stuff to do, you know? Is there no, like... Obvious... Places to be going? I feel like I'm just, uh... Roaming around looting tins of beans out of cupboards. Need more variety. Like, that seems like a rather modern and maintained structure. Can I go through it? No. Oh. I can hear my Geiger counter going off. But yeah, like, this seems all modern, well-maintained, clean. What? Well, what's going on? Why am I taking damage? It's just a radiation sickness. Okay. Maybe I gotta head back to where I was at. Set up a little camp for myself on the beach. Chilling in the sand. Because, uh... I don't know how much I'm going to get out of this. But we'll see. Like, that is an absolute monstrous staircase. I can't not go up. Oh, Jesus. I can't not go up that. Fine, Terrasite. Damn, Terrasite, you fan. Well, maybe this is the place to set up a camp. Top the big stairs. Now. Killing more elk than Joe Rogan. So I'll go up the stairs and... Oh, there's no vehicle. Like, this seems like a fairly ridiculous architecture. Which is kind of... I guess it's a part of the charm of what we're seeing in terms of the level of design and stuff, but... It is, ah! This is the kind of stuff I'd make if there were like a a world builder or something like that. You ever games that have their own level of map creators? It's the kind of crap that I would make when I was young. I don't have the patience to do that stuff anymore. So this one's always got also got radiation. I'm meant to get in. Although I don't think I'd survive that fall, but I could jump over that wall and get over here. But, yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything of interest. But even these structures, too. Like, that's a rather large and, you know, expensive-looking structure that does absolutely nothing. There's nothing in it. And the green one over there looks like it could be alive. With its green lights of luring activity. Green lights for go. Someone was killed. Something's going on. All all actions. Oh. I can restore. I can fix it. What was the button to get in there again? Why? No options yet. Dynamo. And, oh, yes. Didn't I see in a minute ago that I could make tires? So I could probably craft tires. I'll come up into that lad there and go off road. I don't know if there's that much of an event, uh, an advantage to going back to where I was. I suppose the only upside to it is that I could uh, go into the buildings and find stuff. Oh, I'm hungry. There we go. Tin of beans. Keep you quiet for a while. I'll, I will actually run over to this one, so. 
to help me decide whether or not this is the place to set up camp. Oh, danger level three. The further we're getting away from the beach now, the more uh, hor horrifying things are beginning to look. What's that now? Some wacky looking control tower. But, um... All right, well, there's my way home. I'm going to go down that way. If uh, this turns out to be another hollow, lifeless waste of space. Oh, that looks like an active vehicle. But well, parked in such a way that makes me think that there might be another person around here who drove this. Is that water? Looks like water. That vehicle looks like it may have been driven by another person and just like carelessly crashed into the wall. Why can't I? Repair damage. Starting max. Refuel. Don't have permission. That's always a sign that it belongs to someone else. I can't get in there either. Electrified fences. What am I exactly am I meant to be doing here? Kill an elk? I'm starving again too. Right, this place looks a little cooler. Although I'm wondering now is this going to be like radioactive water? Need my rat away. I'm playing too much Fallout. I play too much of everything. Okay, so the water is not trying to kill me. That's something, isn't it? Oh, 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 I hear a robot, but I don't know where. Oh, there's a few of them. Shooting this lads now, probably going to wake up all of his buddies. Don't feel like I made much noise, though. Oh, run, run, run. No, just a flash. Yeah. What am I looking at? What am I doing? Where is there to go? These are all questions that the game should try to guide you through, but, uh... No. But this seems like it would be an unsafe house, because I would imagine over time those... Especially if it's like an online game, those bots would have to respawn. It's in a radiator. So, yeah, I wouldn't, uh... I wouldn't go setting up shop in this place. So where do I set it up? Do I find like a nice mountainy area? I've wasted enough energy on you before. Medical kit. Why not? Why not? Sure. Can't hurt. Where are all these medical kits going? I feel like I picked up loads of them. Resistor. <clears throat> so the medical kit just contain a few of them. Right, how much health do I gain from pressing Z? Oh wait, that's a consumable. Well, that costs energy too. Half a bar, baby. Someone's died of hypothermia. Should I play anymore? Let's not be dying of boredom. There you go. The bullet's like a champ. Right, lots of mechanical components now. Maybe it is wise just to go back to the beach. Set up a safe spot so that if I die, which I believe you can respawn back to your sleeping bag. What? There's something scary about the noise they make. I don't know why. It gets my heart going. And I get set off easy enough as it is. Oh, that wasn't me. Whatever, save my bullets. Actually, I probably have loads of bullets. 712. Right, bullets aren't an issue, which is a good start. Because you'd hate to have to be stingy with your ammo. Suppose I'll take the rocks and stuff too, in case I can uh, build myself a little man cave. 
Get a little PlayStation in a flat screen. Whoa. Now, I was well out of his reach, and he still managed to clock me. There was no dodge button, I don't think. I saw some kind of a body up there. I'm starving again. Uh... Let's see if I can eat the raw meat. Chunk of raw can be obtained by having a... I think I think one. Health. Minus four, so it does hurt you. Okay, so it hurts you, but it feeds or heals your hunger. So, yeah. Fills your belly. Hurts your soul. Well, well, that looks like an interesting building, but hi. And we found out now time and time again that it's probably just going to be empty. But I'll chance it out since this is on the way back to... Oh no, there's no hopping when you're in the water. Can I eat a tin of beans under the water? No. Not yet. Wait for the V2 update. Okay. Tin of beans. Oh, quick, 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 quick. He's got the moves. Pure skill. Why well, that did not go the way I had hoped. I was eating at the wrong time. I bandaged myself again. Now that's a skill that you benefit from. Faster bandaging. Bandaging. This is the exact same structure I was in at earlier on, and it's equally as empty as the previous one. Now, water is probably the enemy of the robots, I would think. So yeah, what like? I know this game is early access, but shouldn't you at least uh, release it once there's something to do? I'm finding it fairly void of activities. But hey, let's not fully judge it now until I've taken advantage of some of the crafting. So, back to the beach. And I'll, uh, I'll see what I can muster up in terms of entertainment back there. Alright, we got more wacky stairs. And oversized structures. But I don't know what they're doing. Alright. Fan. Fan Terracite. Right, on we go. That's a sweet looking texture there. Look at that. Crystal clear. I think they must have uh, copied and pasted that one from Duke Nukem 3D. Oh no, there we go. Just a bit of popping. It's all part of life. All right, on to the next empty structure. Well, um, we're maintaining 30 frames a second here, according to the little widget I have in the corner. That's all right. CPU at 43%. I'm not going to catch fire just yet playing this. Right, fire me up. Alright, loads of Terracite now. forget what it was used for a minute ago, but... It does seem like a... a common enough resource. But anywho, back to the beach where the danger level's low. I suppose that little house that I started out in was, uh... Well, started out next to it. was close to me. That seems like in a better place, a good a place as any to... Start out in. I guess this is the uh, remains of an old road. Let's kill a bear. Give me something to do. Let's slaughter some animals. No, he might come for me though, will he? Yeah, 
He went down easier than I thought he would. And more importantly, he went down with less aggression towards me. Right, this is the area to come back to in a minute. She's got spooky eyes. Um, I would think this way is probably the way back to the beach, but I will come back to this big old building because if there's going to be something to do in the area, it's going to be in this place, I would think. Yeah, this looks like the beach. It is now. Lovely. Right. There's camp. Safety zone. Oh, good take up snow. Right, let's keep going. To the haste. Um, yeah, okay. Campfire, sleeping bag, maybe a chest. Some kind of a storage thing. Now, what, I don't know if like, another person can just come along then and steal all my stuff. I guess that's part of the fun. But that means me building a camp here, which is like the starting location, is going to be a little too easy for anyone. But I have nothing useful yet, so nothing that I want to really hold on to. So if that's what happens, so be it. One of these was open a minute ago, wasn't it? Or is it just the corner here? Well, I left a load of stuff behind anyway. Oh yeah, look. So those med, med kits do just contain the... The, um... The bandages. Okay. I can't read now with all the writing anyway. Get out of the way, let's. Right, um, I can build a workbench. Let's start with that. Sleeping bag, so I can get all a few winks. The grill. Um, oh yeah, storage box. No, what's this? Power generator that disintegrates items to generate electricity and transmits the energy to other utility devices. Must be installed in order to take ownership of a constructed building. Can be placed on top of a foundation or floor. Okay, I guess I'll have to, um, oh, here's some good stuff. Fine, Mel. Um, I guess I have to build the, like, the crafting table and stuff like that first before I can take advantage of, maybe. How do I place it? Oh, yeah, look, i got to probably do this. Oh, no, look, this place is out of bounds. All X's. <clears throat> End of the pier, maybe. Why can't I sleep here? No. Oh, maybe. Or the beach over there. Well, this place is nice because it's safe. What about down here? I'd be uh, vulnerable to the tide coming in. This is kind of uh, annoying. The whole idea of finding somewhere safe to put my stuff. I can't place anything around here. Maybe that's the point. This is like the area for the noobs spawning. Otherwise it'd end up looking like some kind of settlement. Which would be wicked. Oh look, yeah, I guess I can lay my head down here. Oh no, not too close to the water for some reason. So the only place I can put my sleeping bag is out in the middle of the road. Well, of course I'm going to die. I'll see if I can get somewhere a little better. No, nowhere better. Only crap places for me. Can I at least go up into the rocks and get off the beaten path a bit? No, so you're not allowed to put your, your sleeping bag down on stone. Or anywhere safe for that matter. Only in the middle of the roads and on the edge of the cliffs. Right, this actually seems like an alright spot here. Now we've got loads to explore over there. And I'll uh, pop a little sleeping bag in here now. Sheltered from the, the cold. Where are we? Ready for respawning. F to sleep. Or no. What are the actions I can do here? Retrieve device, rename. Oh, right. I just retry, retrieve device didn't mean what I thought it meant. Then what's this one? Repair structure. 
So I can put stuff in here, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so I guess if I die, that's what comes back. Maybe what's in the sleeping bag. Alright, we'll get a workbench down a little bit. Must be placed on the foundation or floor. Okay, I didn't see either of those things showing up. No. Okay. Right, that's annoying. But we'll move on. Campfire. Surely that can be going anywhere than it can. Now it's time for you to build a shelter. You can find the materials you need from the resources around you. Thank Press you. Press and hold the interaction key to mine resources like rocks and mineral deposits. I've been doing that a while. You've completely mined them. It might help to gather materials after you've chosen where you want to build your base. Having a home increases your chance of survival. You need to protect your belongings so other people don't steal them. People can take your mm. items from you while you're logged out of the game. So building a safe place to log out should be a priority. You don't want other exiles stealing your hard-earned terrasite. If I don't... you have found a place to settle, let's start constructing your home. Let me talk. First, build a foundation. Press and hold the construction key until you see a ring of options. F2. While still holding the construction key, move the mouse cursor to the building part you want to build. While hovering over the part, Oh yeah. Press the construction key to start building it. All right. After selecting foundation, the area where you can build it will be indicated. We'll start with the foundation, so. All right, this is actually looking a little better now. Although, what am I protecting myself from? There's like literally nothing of value around here. Hold on a second now. Why am I unable to con? I need a pair. I need some steps now. Right, that seems like enough of a foundation, at least, to get started. Mm, where are we? Seven. Why can't it be the mouse wheel to rotate? But hey. Is that the way it's meant to face? Now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking it might be backwards. It's a pretty cool looking yoke, though. Or, okay... Is this what I can make here? This is like all this... Oh, yeah. Here's the good stuff. Here's the good stuff. So, can I make fine metal and stuff here? Metal alloy jacket. What do I need for that? Fine metal, superior metal. Fine terracite. I thought I had some of that. Oh, I was only mining a normal terracite from it. Oh, God. My arms are sore today. Oh, got up a new skill point. What are you going to give me today? Sonic Boom Punch. I like the sound of that one. Air Glide. Food items are more effective. That's a good idea. I feel like food items would be a good one. Gather quantity increased. Oh, just that does have rocks. Oh, yeah, it is. Rocks, metal. So they're probably the three core uh, building blocks of the game then. What was that? F2 again? I can make steps. Um... Well, it's like I could build walls and stuff, but sure, that's not going to stop anyone coming in. I need to build landmines. You can use a barrel grill or a grill for cooking food. Because it needs add the uncooked food, then add terracite as fuel and click the power button. You that's... can also combine foods in your crafting menu, so experiment and enjoy. Feel free to pick up barrel grills and grills when you're done cooking. That sounds like a cancer you risk. Hold the modeling key and Parasite to cook your food with. To place empty structures back in your inventory. I'm going to have about three heads by the time I'm finished building this little town. Right, well, this is a good so Because down there, there's bound to be a load of stuff. And I know around the corner is another big building. So... I guess I'll have a little house. Um, Is a turret or some sort of a remote some sort of automated um machine oh a proper place to lie down pure luxury um 
there's quite a lot of stuff to build, but nothing that looks as though it's... Uh, why is the freaking screen vibrating? Oh, there we go. Mines. I need... Um, I guess I need a structure that can refine metal or... Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'll, I'll follow the, the shield, the, the build, build shelter guide here. May as well just do it right for now. Uh, satisfy. Build walls. I'll satisfy the tutorials requirements and then... Oh, no. I kind of like uh, a window. Are windows an option? Oh, I can't augment the existing one. No more walls as I want. Four, three more. Press F2 and build a door on the frame. All right. How do that? Can I lock it? Set a password on your door. Unwelcome guests from entering your home. <laughs> they won't. They won't have a hard time getting round, do they? Key near the door to set a password. I think. Um... All right, that's kind of cool. What is the password? Uh, one, two, three, four. No, I can't do that. Um. Two five eight zero. Someone probably guessed it anyway. Was any floor on the wall? What's that mean? Like is it upstairs? Well, for starters, now I. Uh... But why do I have to keep entering the code? Can I not know it's me? I don't have to keep entering that every time I get here. That's gonna get annoying, pretty damn fast. All right, well, this is a problem. Why can't I build stairs? What you got against stairs? The stairs need foundations? Probably. Um, This one. Oh. What's going on out here? No. Ah, hi. Well, that's stupid. I'm just going to spend the rest of the day giving out about everything that's stupid. Well, that is very stupid. Now, look at that. Disaster. Um, How do I get rid of it? Refund me, please. Alright, I guess I have to build it right under it. But sure doesn't allow me to. Or does it? Ah, it does, actually, yeah. But it doesn't um doesn't make my situation any better in terms of the steps. But look, oh well, that was too big. That's like what what is there no such thing as like snap into the grid or anything? Right, try again. Maybe I just do a floor. Does that work? No. Foundation it is, but it just needs to be low. But I don't know how low it needs to be. We'll try it that way. There's uh, certainly some kinks and bugs to work out with the building mechanics in this game. Right, that's alright. suppose it'll be enough to get me in the front door, even though there's no walls. Um, I think this is what it was suggesting. Then I build on top of the wall. Yeah. So a roof. We need uh, some light bulbs now in a minute. Low something. Low stability. What's that mean? Oh yeah, right. I need more walls. Okay. Well, I can't build walls now. I've, I've uh, snuggled myself a little too close into the wall. <laughs> this is going to be not enough resources. No, I'm out of stone. Do I at least have a bit of meat? 
It ain't cooked yet. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Calm down. Um, move that to the... I would assume that once it's cooked like this, it'll also give health and not just food. That's new. New to me, you know? Right, so there we are. We're running on a full belly here, you know? Be cool inside here, though. I will admit that much. Right. Let's get our hands in some stones. With more terracite than I know to do it. Need to make it fine. Nah. I'm just addicted to hoarding. I can't help myself. Now I'll stop. Okay. Stone. Well, there's plenty of you here. Can I not just demolish some buildings? I won't pick up this. Oh. Right, note to future self. It doesn't appear like they can take any damage while sitting down. Did they get an invincibility or some something? Now, how did I make stone show up a while ago? Remember I did, all the little icons showed up? The V button? Vision. I might need a battery to stick into my arm. Although why my robot arm gives me uh, vision. Zoom. Right. It's only highlighted some things. Why are those ones miles away? And I did see a chunk of stone over there. There's some more refinement needed on this side too. Nay. Nice. That was a bit of stone. It's nice that they have everything conveniently laid out for me when I get here. Thank you guys. So yeah, I think before I consider even finishing up, I will definitely have to ensure that my little base up the hill there has four walls and a door. That might be just enough to stop robots getting in anyway. Whether it stops um, any humans coming along and spoiling my day. This is the exact same structure that was on the other side too. Maybe I should spend my skill point on um, something that will increase my stone capacity. I did see as well at the start when we logged in, it was like 140 something days until um, the world uh, blows up or something. So does that mean what I do now will all be erased in 100 and something days time? That's quite long. Like I don't, I can't imagine this day this game is going to keep me going for uh, half a year, but. That's an interesting um, outcome. Interesting mechanic, I suppose. Because if you put a pile of work into building a big, massive house and all the cool stuff, and then it all gets wiped. And I'm saying that my house is rather pathetic. And uh, I think I say if I can find a better supply of stone, there could be a bit of demolition going on. Right. Hmm. Why can't I retrieve it? There's probably stuff inside, is there? It is. If there was a faster way, like double clicking to put it back in your inventory faster. No, I know I put stuff. Oh, I put stuff in here. Oh, you can. Kinda. Doesn't work that well. Retreat if I. On we go. Um, what button am I looking for again? F two. Yeah, I could do it. I could do it. Some what? Some windows now. Uh, I have an idea. I'll demolish you, and I'm make it like a little. Bay window style structure. Right, I need another foundation first. So F two. At least found these these things are cheap to make. Why is what the clipping off now? Them those fabulous stairs. 
They are on the wonky side now, I will admit. Right, it's the monitor show lesson start again. It's all a disaster. Okay. One foundation. Two foundations. Now, where do we draw the line? That snapped there now, so that gives me hope that that's the correct amount of space for the stairs. Uh, or... So I could do a little bunny hop onto that one. Oh, it is, look. Lines up beautifully. Anyway, back onto the... We need windows this time. Now, problem solved, huh? We have light and some safety. At first, the whole building process might seem strange and slow. It's like that for everyone, but you'll get used to it. I'm already a pro season veteran. Buildings will fall apart and eventually disappear. <gasps> to make sure your building stays intact, you'll need to install and activate a building core, which will also act to power your base. Craft a building core. You can add it to a quick slot and install it on a foundation or floor. I saw that. Here we your go. building core needs fuel to power and protect your building. God damn it. Interact with it and convert any items you don't need into fuel. Now click the anti-degradation button to breathe life what into time? your base. Remember that if your building core runs out of energy, your base will slowly disintegrate. Make sure to charge your building core before logging out. This feels like a... Uh An excessive babysitting experience. I'm going to have to do a lot of babysitting. To keep this base from falling apart. Right, smush the rocks. That's probably enough rocks just to get the ball rolling. All I need is another, like, one or two walls and, uh... What was it? A roof? At least then I might be safe until I log back in again the next day. And the last one is... A roof job. Now, we're safe. Secret safe. Secret sofa. Right, eight. What is this thing takes up a lot of space, isn't it? That building core means that this home is now yours. Keep it safe. Install a workbench and use it to make complex and advanced equipment you'll need to survive. Like light bulbs. The building core generates power by disintegrating anything you put inside. Convert any items you don't use into power with the building core. Of course, Terracite produces the most power. Okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's plunk down... Guess this can't go indoors, can it? What I might do is pop an old door. That's stupid that you can't convert uh, an existing wall or whatever into a uh, doorway. You, sh you can do that in Fortnite. Is this where my uh, little. This is my back garden, this is the patio. I'm gonna have a few beers and a barbecue out here with the boys. Must be placed on the ground. All oh, right, the dirt ground. Fair enough. Do I have to put a password on this one too? Same password for both. Why not? Okay, at least it remembers me. I don't have to do it once. Um, probably need the sleeping bag too, don't I? I'll put that down in here for a second. I'll dunk it on the floor. How long will that? How many minutes of power will that get me? Oh look, two out of a hundred. And let's split the. That's it. Two thousand. That's not an awful lot of power. Considering the rate, it's uh, decreasing that. 
But look, let's not uh, let's not waste any time. We'll get out down and start doing some stuff. Right, we've got it all. Let's -a go. Well, I'd be curious now if I were to log in again tomorrow, would um all of that terrace I have respond? Which then probably means that the best thing I could spend this on is be this one. That 25% increase? It's a lot. Well, that's the speed. Ah, right, I want quantity. I, just, I thought I'd uh, half read that and I got myself into a bad situation. Because I would fill up that yoke before I go offline. But the rate is going down. Like You're probably going to lose... It was like every second, wasn't it? One a second? Maybe every two seconds. Like a million was a lot, but I don't want to have to log in every couple of hours just to make sure my base has enough electricity. That's going to get old pretty fast. Let me equip a gun. Now, my gun doesn't look like it's got a whole lot longer left in it. If that's the health bar at the bottom of it. That's close to the, the end of the, the gauge. Do some hopping, will ya? Okay. Hopping on. There's the juicy cactus. Pickly pear. Whatever you want to call them. More things to deal with my hunger. Right, here's that big building I want to go and visit. You look sick. He had to be exterminated. Um... Oh yeah, so let's go and see what's going on here. And if there's absolutely nothing of interest around here, like, what am I meant to do then? Is this just a building? A base building thing? And if it is a base building thing, and what's the point of blowing the world up every few days? Kind of feel like we there's got to be some kind of a boss or something to go up and work towards. Because, you know, if I wanted to build... Structures, I go off and play The Sims. Or Fallout 76, because that comes with base building and lots of other stuff. So far, though, there doesn't appear to be any sort of limitations to your build size, which that is a, a perk above Fallout. But yeah, plenty of building in Fortnite, too, that you don't have to be dealing with the restrictions on. Right, what do you get for destroying the bins? Metal. Mind your business. Crap, I thought I reloaded. Some good, lots of supplies up here, anyway. Lots of uh, stone. Jeez, this one's freaking out. I'm going to reload while I have the chance. Oh, I saw one coming. Daily mission. I should probably craft a new machine gun soon before this one runs out of stuff. Do you know what this kind of design is reminding me of now? Some... Oh, it's very Warhammery. There's like a real Space Marine vibe, but they love making oversized structures made out of metal that have like very little space optimization. This is like horrendous design here. What's that big giant platform for just to build a little village on the roof? So yeah, I'm getting in some Space Marine Space Marine vibes, which reminds me I should really go back and play Dawn of War. Oh, I'm getting whacked. I have another skill point. Is that a recent unlock? Stone's becoming the hot one anyway at the minute, so we'll, we'll, we'll go with stone for now because I... Uh, Need to get the all settlement up and running a bit faster. And stone's the one right here. He's looking for me. Look at him. He's got me on his mind. The only thing he can say is this gun is ridiculously accurate. Right, more rubble. Someone's alive. I right hear. Whoa! Eee, I'm gonna die! 
Right, healing time. On oh, my girlish screams, I apologize for. Well, I'm getting a few kills of these so that's, that's something. I'll go make sure I loot that lad now, actually. Grab by him. He's from me all right up in heap. Hmm. These are very lifeless areas, though. Depressingly lifeless. Make sure it's... Fun building structures, but... There really isn't anything that we'll be working towards, is there? That stone just respawn. I thought I destroyed that already. Never mind. Plenty of stone now, anyway. I can um, get back to the base. Plug it all in. Could do it more terracite though if I'm to uh, activate that generator. Keep me going for the evening. Keep on hopping. Hopscotch. Where's the big lump of stone? Just what the doctor ordered. And that lad as well. Now, what next? Oh yeah, okay, I can see where my base is. I see the little snoozy Zeds on the map. What's that? Oh! You see, he looks a bit more friendly than the other one. I unlocked the recipe to make a kebab. A bear kebab. Kebab. I do see I destroyed the vehicle over there as well. So that could be my little uh, opportunity to get some wheels. At least if we discover any women, I can impress them with my car. Back to the base. Unload some supplies. Um, let's see. I'd be curious to see now what my reactor is doing. Ah, no. Look, it didn't go down that slow. I'll dump another uh, 4,000 in it. We'll see how long that lasts me. I'll definitely have to make a uh, new gun. And it don't actually looks like you can sleep. Just to be sure. like It's not like uh, Minecraft where you have to actually news. Bed. In case I forget. Oh. Alright, so. Um... I don't know what else there is to aim for, really. I would be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed by the complete lack of anything to do. Like, at least with DayZ, you got zombies floating around. This is boring our robots. But anyway, I'll press ahead and I'll see what I can make out of it. Never know, might find the fun eventually. But I think, uh, I think that's enough for today. Oh, your character will come asleep. It defenses against looting attacks from other players. You may even starve to death. Well, that's without a doubt going to happen. I'm already hungry now. So that means I'll probably be stuck till the next day. Meh. Never mind. Call it a day anyway. Talk to you later.